The awards saw the attendance of a number of distinguished guests and President Paul Kagame told those gathered that Rwanda is proud to host the event, the first time it has been held on African soil, noting that it has encouraged the government of Rwanda to further increase its efforts to completely eradicate corruption. We have just unveiled a stunning sculpture by the renowned Iraqi artist Ahmad al Bahrani. This symbolizes both the openness and the firm resolve needed to prevail in the fight against corruption. We thank you for this iconic work of art. نشكركم على هذه المنحوتة الفنية الرائعة التي ستكون فخرا لنا في بلدنا والتي سنحتفظ بها لتذكرنا كل يوم وتشجعنا be present على أن نتواجد وأن نعتزم العمل على مكافحة الفساد لقد بدأنا مسارنا في هذا الصدد نحن نخوض هذا المسار وبالتالي ما يبقى علينا فعله هو الجائزة Organizers of the International Anti-Corruption Excellence Awards pointed out that Rwanda was chosen to host the event this year for a reason. He said that this year the event should be held in Africa, particularly Rwanda. We asked with great impulsiveness. We asked His Royal Highness, why Rwanda? His answer was a little bit embarrassing for us. He said, go and read the history of Rwanda. Go and read the history of His Excellency, the President, Paul Kagame. If you're not convinced, come back to me and we will discuss this once again. We went ahead and we read about the history of Rwanda. We read about the history of a population that suffered a lot, that no other people suffered in the history, in modern history. But in spite of all of these hardships, all of this pain, his people managed to turn a new page, the page of the past, to look for a bright future for its people, for its children. We went ahead and read about the history of His Excellency, the President, Paul Kagame, and we found a president who was able to ease the pain of his people, who was able to work tirelessly to turn Rwanda from famine you have created the Rwandan miracle, Mr. President, you and your people. Thank you, Your Highness, Sheikh Tamim bin Hamad Al Thani, for this choice. AU officials present reiterated the continent's determination to fight corruption on a united front, and other dignitaries present observed that corruption is not an exclusively African problem and that the whole world should fight it. Corruption is a curse that we all have to hold hands to fight against. But to do that, I say tr uh, transparency plus accountability spells trust. Trust in us African leaders or politicians all over the world is waning. The only way is if we can be transparent, to be accountable, so that our people can regain trust in us. In the education and research categories, the 2019 Sheikh Tamim bin Hamad Al Thani Anti-Corruption Excellence Awards went to Dr. Maria Krambia Kapadi of Cyprus and Dr. Alban Kochi of Albania. In the youth category, Jajak Lumumba of the DRC was chosen as well as the Zimbabwean Melody Zambuko. In the innovations category, El Nura Alkanova of Kyrgyzstan and Natalie Kejman were presented with their awards. 
His Excellency Kenneth Kaunda, the former Zambian president, was recognized as one of the earliest fighters of corruption, and his efforts to build up a country governed by the rule of law were applauded. This is the fourth time the awards have been presented, and last year the event was held in Malaysia.